right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. It took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. championship fight. Adesanya is three years his senior. He is three inches taller. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you all been waiting for live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Shavkat Nomad Rothmanov. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it fair. Ready. strike they can do it all and these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans that's a perfect scramble right there beautiful transition just out of range with that left hook well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by this gentleman oh collar tie big powerful punch lands now he gets back to range Right hand landed. I mean, he's 
cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. And they separate. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. So inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Got to be careful, armbar. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that armbar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Real quick leg kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job fighting the range to land those punches. Oh. 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 DC has officially run. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh, straight right. to avoid the punch. Nice job by Adesanya. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Able to check that kick as well. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Sonia gets caught with that punch. His chin is held. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, big punch land. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Can't take many of those, you better check. Tries to work it into a takedown. Shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Spinning back fist. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Now goes in and secures the takedown. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Straight punch land. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Big head kick land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. It's a nice back and forth action here. Voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. The next with a right. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Big punch lands over the top. I'll just gonna follow this. Out of the scramble, folks. Beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all of us. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Adesanya. Good takedown defense by Israel. And they separate. Adesanya going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Nice. Ball lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and ball combinations. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can't attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little... Now the guy's got arm bar. He's attacking it on him. Attacking arm bar. Oh. Now he falls back into the finishing position. snapping his arm. Right. Sometimes it's better to live to fight another day, but hats off to this fighter on a great submission victory.
Uh, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. And there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a moment for him here tonight as he earns the victory by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 48 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by tap out due to an armbar and new.